Hi, I'm George with Studio Binder, and today we're going to talk about the sharing feature on your production calendar. If you want to share some of the workload that you've put out on your production calendar, and you want to make sure it gets done faster, if maybe you want approval on certain things on your calendar, there's a lot you can do with sharing. Let me show you how. So we'll go in here and you'll see we have our production calendar all laid out. And we'll go all the way to the upper right here and we will click on share. So now we've opened a modal, the share calendar. So this link we wanna share, we can copy, and this is a view only link. Underneath that, you'll see in this field who has access and we've got one person currently. And we can see who that person is. We can see how many times they've viewed it. We can see when they last viewed it. And then right here, we click on this drop down, and we can give them different privileges. This is kind of familiar to how Google works. You can change whether or not they can comment, view, or edit, and you can change it at any time. Over here, we have a little icon. You click on that. We can resend the invite in case they didn't get it or they missed it somehow. You can view the link if you're interested in doing that. And we can, of course, remove this person and remove their access, which is something you can always do at any time. So if you're not happy with who has access to it or you don't feel comfortable with who has access to it, you can always remove them. You can protect your data. And then, of course, under here, you can invite a new person. So add an email address, invite another, include a message. I can say, hey, check out the calendar. Let me know what you think. Just create a person here, steve at steve.com. And we're gonna give him different permissions. Now, because I said I want him to let me know what he thinks, I'll say he can comment. So he'll be a commenter when he takes a look. If I want him to be able to edit the page, well, then I'll give him that permission. And if I just wanna remove it, I can do that too. And so that's it for sharing. Personally, I think it's always a really good idea to allow other collaborators and reviewers to edit tasks. Even if you can't get a collaborator, which gives someone the ability to edit the page with you, you can at least use the reviewer share function to share the tasks, edit them, check off the boxes as you go. It'll really help you keep your production organized if you share your page and collaborate with the other people on your team. That'll be the end of it for this video and this video series. If there's anything else you'd like to see us cover in the future or do a future video series on, just leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel.